Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful and a very instructive chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is Frederick Perrin once again. And this game was played in New York in 1857 in the first American Chess Congress. And Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to c6, bishop to e3, knight to f6, bishop to d3, bishop to b4, check c3, bishop to a5. And Paul Morphy castled, bishop to b6. Knight to d2, knight to e5, attacking the bishop on d3, bishop to e2, d5, f4, attacking the knight, knight to c6, e5, attacking the knight on f6, and Perrin captures the knight with the bishop, c takes on d4, knight to d7, bishop to d3, f5, g4, and Paul Morphy is pushing the pawn in front of the king. And it's usually not a good idea. We have g6, g takes on f5, e takes on f5, king to h1, knight to f8, rook to c1, knight to e6. And this is the key moment of the game. And Paul Morphy played an incredible move and he made a very deep calculation. And then he decided to sacrifice his bishop. Bishop takes on f5. And it's a very hard move to find in this position. And Perrin didn't capture the bishop and he played knight takes on d4. But if g takes on f5, then queen to h5. And here comes this very deep calculation by Paul Morphy. So king to e7, queen takes on f5, h6, queen to g6, queen to g8, queen to f6, king to e8, f5, knight takes on d4, e6, knight to b5, Bishop to c5, if a6, rook to g1, queen to h7, rook to g7 is winning for white. So rook to h7, rook to g1, attacking the queen, queen to h8, rook to g6, knight to e7, bishop takes knight, queen takes on f6, bishop takes queen, and if a6, then rook to g8, that's checkmate. So only defense, and then e takes on f7, pawn takes rook. And this is losing for black. It's incredible that how Paul Morphy can see this deep. And this move shows that how Paul Morphy can get deep when it's necessary. And how much he can calculate almost every variations. We can see how his mind is working at the most critical moment of the game. But we have knight e takes on d4, not capturing the bishop. And that's a good idea. So Paul Morphy captures the bishop on c8, rook takes on c8, f5, knight takes on f5, rook takes knight, sacrificing the exchange, g takes on f5, and then queen to h5, check, king to d7, if king to e7, bishop to g5, and this is very unpleasant for black, if king to d7, queen to f7, not capturing the queen immediately, so if knight to e7, e6, king to d6, bishop to f4. That's checkmate. So after Paul Morphy played, queen to h5. Perrin played, king to d7. Queen to f7, check queen to e7. And Paul Morphy played, e6, king to d8. If king to c7, then rook takes on c6, removing the defender of the queen. That's check. So if king takes rook or b takes on c6, it doesn't matter. We have queen takes queen. And black is losing the queen and the game. King to d8. Paul Morphy played the move and Frederick Perrin throw in the towel. So what is the next move of Paul Morphy? I believe even a beginner level player can easily spot this move. So probably you can easily guess this move. Well, what is the move? 
Paul Morphy played bishop to g5, pinning the queen. And if queen takes bishop, then queen to d7, that's checkmate. So after bishop to g5, Perrin resigns. And maybe rook to c7 is the most logical move in this position. Then queen takes on f5. And white doesn't have to hurry for capturing the queen. So queen takes bishop, queen takes queen. And black can resign. This is losing for black. This position is resignable well. That's why after Paul Morphy played bishop to g5, this is all over for black, for Frederick Perrin. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And now I'm going to show you the second game between these two players in the first American Chess Congress. And I believe that game was also a very instructive and a very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy. So enjoy the next game. And hello everyone. This is the second game between Paul Morphy and Frederick Perrin that I would like to share with you. And in this game, Paul Morphy has the white pieces. And this time, Paul Morphy is playing with the knight toads. He has surrendered one of his knights. And Frederick Perrin is playing with the black pieces. Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, e5, f4, king's gambit declined d5 e takes on d5 queen takes on d5 knight to f3 e4 attacking the knight knight to e5 bishop to e6 bishop to c4 attacking the queen queen to d6 queen to e2 knight to f6 d4 bishop takes on c4 knight takes on c4 attacking the queen and frederick perrin played queen to e6 saving the queen if queen takes on d4, then bishop to e3, queen to d5, rook to d1. And this was the idea of Paul Morphy. But you never know what was he thinking, because he has all kinds of different ideas, all kinds of different creative ideas, but this must be the most reasonable continuation. So we have queen to e6, and after this move, Paul Morphy castled. Knight to c6, c3, defending on d4, bishop to d6, f5, queen to e7, bishop to g5, pinning the knight. And also Frederick Perrin castled. b4, knight to b8, a4, c6, pawn storm on the queen side by Paul Morphy. Paul Morphy is aggressively attacking on the queen side and he is planning to checkmate the king. b5, queen to c7, h3, rook from d to e8. Bishop takes on f6, pawn takes bishop, rook from f to b1. b6, a5, c takes on b5, a takes on b6, attacking the queen. Bishop to h2, check king to h1. A takes on b6, rook takes on b5, knight to c6, rook from a to b1, targeting the pawn on b6, bishop to f4, and Paul Morphy captures the pawn with the knight, and that's check. King to d8, Paul Morphy played knight to d5, attacking the queen, and Frederick Perrin is saving the queen and also defending the bishop on f4. And it's white to move. And this is the key moment of the game. And after that move, black is losing. And according to the chess computers, that move is also the most accurate move. So what is the next move of Paul Morphy? What is the strongest move in this position?
And can you guess the killer move in this position? Well, Paul Morphy played the most accurate move, as always, and he played queen to a2. And after this move, Frederick Perrin resigned. And this is the last position of the game. Well, queen to a2. Paul Morphy is threatening to play rook to b7. And then playing queen to a8. And there is no sensible defense. So let's play a ridiculous move. Let's say h6. Then rook to b7. Threatening to play queen to a8. And how to defend? There is no defense. So let's play a random move. Then queen to a8. So let's say defending with the knight. Rook takes knight. King to d7. Rook from 1 to b7. That's check. King to c6. Rook takes on f7. And that's checkmate. So maybe most logical defense was queen to d7. Then knight takes bishop on f4. Rook to e7. Rook to b8. Knight takes rook. Rook takes knight. King to c7. Queen to a7, king to d6, queen to c5. And that's checkmate. If king to c6, then queen to b6, and that's checkmate again. So as you can see, this is all over for black. Black is doomed after queen to a2. So queen to a2 was the best move in this position, and Paul Morphy played the best move, as always. And once again, Paul Morphy crushed his opponent. When he was playing with the odds. And this time he was playing with the night odds. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed both games of Paul Morphy in this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.